Hello traders and uh, welcome back to another video here. Um, today I want to talk about the FTSE, right? Because, uh, well, uh, this week, even though this, even though tomorrow is the U.S. elections, um, I want to talk about the FTSE because to this week, later this week, we have the monetary policy decision. Um, the U.K. has entered a four-week lockdown. And we have uncertainty on the Brexit agreement uh, between the UK and the EU, right? And uh, right now, the FTSE is retesting a massive, massive level. So if we go to the 8-hour chart, actually, let's go to the 12-hour chart because I just want to show you this level, right? Uh, let's grab a um, straight line. And this is the level that we are retesting, okay? Uh, back in uh, April, back in April, the beginning of April, this is the level that when we broke to the upside, we picked up buyers. And interestingly enough, we have not retested this level until today, right? Well, not today, but until uh, the until the past few days, uh, until the past few trading days, right? So this is the first step right for uh, this analysis the uh, the 5550 level so let's put on the correct coordinates on this one right here all right so it's the 5550 level which clearly has been rejected and now we have picked up buyers right in a uh, european trade so let's go to the two hour chart and uh, let's see what's going on uh you can see that in fact, the immediate market structure is a bearish structure. We are making lower lows and lower highs, right? But the thing about this is that uh, we have broken with a key level, with the immediate key level, which leads me to believe that we can rally from uh, the 5630, uh, right? This is the 5630 56, level that has had a clean break and now it's being retested. Uh, so let's uh, look at some possible targets to the upside and the first possible target to the upside that comes into mind, of course, is the previous low. So what can happen? A couple of scenarios here. Uh, the FTSE can rally to this level, which is the 5745 level, reject this level. And here we can find a great opportunity to sell on a great risk to reward scenario. OK, now this is the first scenario that. I would be looking to play in the FTSE. The second one is a continue or a, a complete reversal from the 5550 and a retest of the highs at around the 6000 level. Okay, and uh, both scenarios are plausible in the sense that uh, right now we've had a clean break of uh, this zone, this choppy zone that uh, i mean uh, when, when when you look at price action at uh, at these massive levels and you see some choppiness is because there has been a lot of struggle between buyers and sellers right and uh, what price action right now is telling me is that buyers are in control at the moment right so the second scenario would be a retest of the 5630 level for a continuation, right? We don't know if the 5775 uh, is going to break, but if the FTSE retests this level, we are going to get a great risk to reward setup to buy the FTSE for a retest of the previous lows, right? So those are the two scenarios that I'm looking at right now on the FTSE. And of course, if we go to the four hour chart, let's go to a four hour chart. If we break, I mean, if we finally break with the current or, or the immediate bearish structure, right? Uh, the FTSE could eventually rally to the 6,000 level, which are these highs. Now, the inflection point in this market is this one right here. So, um, to be completely honest, what I would be looking for is a rally to this level and just wait and see the reaction. Because if we get a rally to this level and a fake out, 
this would give us the opportunity to sell the FTSE for at least a retest of the 5550, which is that massive level that I showed you on the th on the uh, 12 hour chart. But if we get a clean break and a retest, this would be a buy in my opinion. So heads up to this. Um, this can be in play uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, and of course that uh, uh, the uh, today's trading uh, day in the New York session is going to be very important for global equities. If, if global equities continue to rally like they have been, um, we might get that opportunity uh, today. But again, I would wait for uh, tomorrow's European uh, open to look for either a sell at this inflection point in the market, or if we have a clean break today, a retest for a long continuation. Targets to the upside should be, the first target to the upside should be the previous highs, right? So this would give us, let's, let's, uh, let's see, um, speculative speaking, right? A, a one to three risk to reward scenario to first targets around the 58.80 and second targets would be the, um, the ultimate highs of the current market structure around the 6,000 level for a nice one to 6.4 risk to reward scenario. So heads up to this uh, and uh, heads up to both possible scenarios. Again, if we get a rejection of this inflection point, uh, the short um, scenario would be in play, which would give us a nice um, one to five risk to reward scenario to test the 5550 level again. Now let's go to the, um, again, to the uh, eight hour chart to see uh, some further levels to the downside on the FTSE, which are these lows, right? If we get a break of the fifth, I mean, if the uh, short scenario plays out and we get a break of the 55.50, right? Uh, second target would have to be around the 53.60 for a nice one to 9.5 risk to reward scenario. So uh, heads up to this and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.